everybody, this is Steve here and today I will talk a little bit about fuel additives. I know that there are a lot of forums, uh, there are many uh, YouTube channels and YouTube videos about fuel additives and people who are trying out this and that, uh, but uh, maybe you will listen and uh, watch my video and my aspects as well. You know, at almost any automotive store and uh, gas station, you will see a lot of products that promise to help your car in a number of different ways. In this video, uh, I will talk only about additives for petrol cars. There are many additives for diesel cars as well, but... Um, this would be a too long video if I would go into details according to diesel cars as well. So just in the description below, I have linked a video. This is my other video and this is about uh, diesel additives, okay? Which, uh, by the way, have a little bit more sense. But let's start with this one. Like anything you buy, not every claim a product makes, uh, for example, on a packaging, comes true. Well, gas prices are rising month by month, and uh, vehicle owners, uh, you know, just uh, are on the lookout for for well-priced products that can save them a few dollars on the long run, and there are a lot of products in the automotive market that claim to increase or restore the gas mileage of your vehicle. And beside fuel additives, I've seen even uh, kits, uh, which are liquid injections and, uh, well, even magnets, all claiming to get more out of every gallon of gas. And uh, some of them claim to clean your engine. Some of them uh, are claimed to uh, restore your engine's fuel economy. Well, others even uh, claim to change the molecular system of the gasoline and so on. You know, uh, the limit is the sky. But do any of them actually work? Well, this is the question. In this video, I will talk about fuel additives, uh, which are uh, the most often bought additives, okay? The most often bought additives for petrol say that uh, they are cleaning the injectors and removing dirt from the engine. From the engine, okay? I will come back to this because... Um, this is not really true. Or they promise a more, more miles per gallon or less liters per 100 kilometers, depending on which country you live in. These are often also called as octane boosters. And they also promise, beside a better fuel consumption, more power. Well, the biggest problem is that most people don't even know how a petrol engine, a new petrol engine, uh, a new developed petrol engine works. If you service your car properly, even after the second or third or more years of your uh, car's warranty period, uh, which is almost for the main parts like the engine, the gear shift or rust or whatever, and if you're using a quality engine oil, which is very important, and the most important, or one of the most important thing, if you change your fuel filter every, or maximum every second year, such a filter costs about um, 20 to $50, no real dirt from um, a countermined fuel can settle down in the engine. Of course, uh, uh, fuel contains uh, a lot of compounds which 
can build up over the years and over many, many miles, a kind of crusty layers, which is mostly a kind of a carbon layer. And uh, yes, fuel uh, has many ingredients. So there can be a crusty layer uh, inside some engine parts. But again, only after many, many miles or years. And uh, yes, if you, if you don't take care of your car. So getting back that these additives are cleaning the engine. So what is engine? I mean, engine, it's a big thing. Where is fuel going to? Fuel is only in the top of your engine, okay? In the cylinder head. So that's where, and I try to explain it very, very easily and very uh, un understandable. So fuel goes only into the, the upper part, into the cylinder head. Everything below the pistons, if your car is not very, very old, is not affected by fuel and fuel additives. So how does it really work? Or at least what do they try to tell you? That's my next question. Almost all fuel additives contain um, 80 to 100 percent jet fuel. Come on, jet fuel. With other words, kerosene, which is actually the cheapest fuel you can get. Um, you go to the gas station or wherever you, you buy your fuel additive, you pay five to ten bucks for a small bottle of kerosene, which would cost you normally not more than a few cents. And uh, kerosene? What does kerosene do? Why is kerosene good for your engine? I mean, the top part of your engine, the cylinder head, okay? What does it do? Kerosene mixed with petrol is uh, heating up the inside of the cylinder head so all engine parts which are in the upper part of the engine will be a little bit warmer or hotter and they claim that this hotter or, or warmer temperature will loosen up all these encrustions and all these carbon residues uh, which are there and just blow it out of the engine somehow, you know. So, um, actually, this is not really true. This is the uh, theory, okay? So even if they clean it a little bit, because um, I don't say that they are not cleaning the injectors, but they also harm them a little bit because they are not um, designed for such a heat, okay? You will not recognize it because you say, oh, my water temperature is on, on the right place, so... Uh, nothing can happen. This is because the uh, water temperature meter is in a, in a complete other part of your engine, more down, more below your cylinder head. So while the water goes down there, it's already cooler. But in an old car, again, with 200 or 250,000 miles, you have uh, these crusty layers all inside your cylinder head. So, on the valves, on the top of the pistons, on the spark plugs, and, you know, on the whole uh, inside of the cylinder head. And uh, if you have, let's say, one millimeter of um, encrustion, it will probably, on the long term, uh, let's say, with uh, five fill-ups, using a uh, fuel additive all the time it'll probably remove a quarter of them okay but it will never completely so you it's a pseudo effect you think that if you put it in uh, after the second fill up your uh, engine will be from the inside it will be uh, 
shiny and clean, you know, but this is not true. I mean, there is a combustion going on and, 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 um, you know, fuel is a natural product or at least made of a natural product. So, and fuel already contains additives, um, in a right amount. Even if you buy a cheap one, a cheap gasoline, it contains some additive, okay? So you don't, you don't need them. They will never ever increase your vehicle's mileage. Some way, minimally, but, uh, it will be so small that you won't even notice the difference, especially not your wallet. These products can actually be harmful to your engine as well. Why? Again, as I told you, the engine is not designed for high temp, for, for that high temperature inside this combustion room. I, I I'm really talking now like a rookie, uh, but uh, I try to tell it in a way so that everybody will understand it. So it has its effect only again in the upper part of your engine and uh, because the heat gaskets can burn some fuel additives have also more aggressive things inside and uh, it will it will burn out uh, a part of the gaskets so uh, in the worst case even water can get into your engine um, it can damage the seals, uh, it can damage a lot of things in, inside your engine because it is not designed for, uh, let's say, um, in, Cel in Celsius, uh, 50 or 60 degrees more temperature. So before you buy the next gas saving additive, uh, just listen to the rest of this video and probably it will make you think about buying it. The most common products that claim to add uh, some extra miles per gallons onto your drive are pour in your gas tank additives, okay? And you'll see almost an entire shelf devoted to them uh, at automobile shops and automotive uh, part shops and the gas stations. And the second claim is that they increase or restore gas mileage because of or in addition to the first claim. So this is somewhat true, I would say, in, in 3%. And because of the higher or the bigger heat you have uh, you have uh, a stronger combustion str uh, a little bit more power but this is really not uh, that much it is not that much and it's not worth to do that than damaging your engine even if they do clean the engine somehow and only the inside of the cylinder head not the whole engine so even if they clean them if they would clean them uh, the change of your your miles per gallon is so insignificant that it has no effect on your engines mileage okay again three percent maximum and some people put this additives into their vehicles at every fill up and others well maybe do it occasionally um, but either way you're most likely not getting what you've paid for even if the additives uh, do clean areas of your engine according to the EPA's test EPA is the Environmental Protection Agency so according to the EPA's uh, tests there are no additives you can put in your car that will increase gas mileage. And the EPA tested 14 different fuel additives. 14. Uh, none of them were proven to have any positive effect 
on your vehicle's gas mileage. In the end, uh, some afterwards, okay, and I'll be very short now. You probably never knew that uh, Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, and uh, popular mechanics and news agencies have already tested all these or most of these products and uh, they wanted to see how they did and they didn't find anything okay so in case of uh, a better mileage so the government for example does not endorse nor does it officially approve that these products so will save gas or provide similar claims as i told you before uh gas uh, doesn't matter if you have regular super or whatever you have for example in the usa you your engine needs uh, there are already additives inside so the fuel comes with additives already well and my last sentence the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, specifically warns against products that claim to have government backing because there are products like this. Okay, just summarize it. If you have a new car, just forget all fuel additives. You don't need it. Get the right fuel that is designated for your car and that's it do the regular service oil change and always and this is very important always change at least once or a year or maximum every second year your fuel filter which is between 20 and 50 bucks then if you have an older car I don't say you should not use it if you have an uneven idle or whatever it may help you out for a short term but this is not the solution go to your local trusted car mechanic he will disassemble the cylinder head he'll clean out everything he will check the engine he will check how loose this and that bearing is and whatever so it's a kind of renewal but not the whole engine renewal it's a it's a small renewal he will change the gasket he will clean the valves he will clean uh, the top of the valves where the most uh, deposits are and which are not cleaned uh, by additives um, he will probably uh, put in new um, spark plugs and so on probably you will pay a thousand dollar or so but come on if you always pay ten dollars for um, a fuel additive which doesn't do anything or at least not much just a little bit you know it's not in balance with the price you pay for it and maybe f you know you, because you won't get rid of all that dirt so i hope you like this video and i hope i could open some eyes that uh, these are not magic things and i hope when you go and fill up your car the next time you will think two times uh, before you buy any fuel additive and uh, yeah and if you are driving a diesel car just go to the link below and if you like the video just give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down and uh, well you can subscribe leave any comments if you do not agree what I told you well we can start a nice discussion about this. I will be here and I will answer your questions if you if you ask anything. Uh, I'll be here. So that's all. See you guys.